is CBC News from Vancouver. Good afternoon, I'm Robert Zimmerman. Premier David Eby and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau are expressing condolences to the family of a young firefighter killed yesterday while battling a wildfire near Revelstoke. 19-year-old Devin Gale got trapped under a tree after getting separated from her team. E.B. says her death serves as a tragic reminder that firefighters often put their lives on the line. There are now about 2,000 personnel battling more than 350 wildfires. What, what does that reaction look like? What are things people should worry, worry about or watch for? So since they're flight animals, like their common reactions would be flight or freeze. So, so I, I knew I was going to hit some wildfire smoke traveling through Canada. Um, I wasn't expecting to hit it today though. All of the smoke maps and air quality index maps that I've looked at show the smoke being north of here, but um, this just blew in overnight. So... I think that's going to alter my plans a little bit. I had planned to spend some time hiking in the Purcell Mountains and going to Banff National Park, but I think I might just have to drive straight through to Dawson Creek. Um, I don't know, I'm still gonna... I actually don't know what I'm gonna do. I've made a decision. We're gonna hit the road today. I was hoping I could sneak in a hike in the Purcells today, but yeah, not only was uh, the road pretty gnarly getting up here, but uh, my, my throat was getting sore. So I figured um, if I hadn't even started hiking and I'm already feeling the smoke, it's probably not a good idea for me to be exercising. So I kind of have two choices. I can go back to the States or I can put the hammer down, try to push through the smoke, and get up to Alaska in the next few days. And I think that's what I'm going to do. It's gonna be an adventure. The smoke is gonna get worse before it gets better, so let's see how this goes.
So today is kind of a weird day. I could go for some more groceries. I could go for some more water. I could go for some more fuel. I could go for some Wi-Fi. I could go for a restaurant meal that's halfway decent. I could go for a hike, but I don't really need to do any of those things. And uh, I'm realizing this is kind of the beauty of the Alcan Highway is that uh, I don't need a GPS. I just drive until I see something that I want to do and uh, don't really have to know where I'm going or have a plan. So this is kind of the uh, bliss of living on the road that I've been, been seeking for two and a half years. Yeah! spending days just driving on the same road, I decided to leave the Alcan just a little bit and explore a mining road. I found this nice little spot by the river, but as I was going to bed, I just started getting oh, weird vibes so from the buddy. place. There were a bunch of unmarked pickup trucks driving up and down the road, and my maps just showed me driving off a cliff and the road ending, so it was weird being in this no man's land. So I decided to leave. It's funny driving at 12 a.m. up here because the sky is still light. I haven't really been feeling like myself lately, and I think just acknowledging that uh, last night I was uncomfortable and that there was something I could do about it, uh, I just had this feeling in my pit of my stomach of like, oh yeah, here we're gonna have another uncomfortable night of sleeping with one eye open. And then it hit me, I was like, wait a minute, I don't have to do this. I can leave right now. And so I did, and it, it felt really good to do that. And I came to a campsite that was Objectively worse, um, right by the road, busy, but it felt like home and I got a good night's sleep and I'm having a good day today for the first time in a really long time and I don't really know what to say about it other than I've been consumed by like self-doubt and anxiety and I don't know, I, I've been muddling through one way or another, which I mean, I'm proud of myself for that, but been really rough and I'm happy to feel like I'm finally on the upswing again um, yeah I've just been stressed out about things that don't matter like uh, my ankle really hurts from that hike I did in Glacier and it's been like two weeks so I don't know I, I pushed myself too hard on that hike clearly I knew I was pushing myself too hard too but I did it anyways and now I'm like oh no but but I can still walk um, I'm still out here experiencing things and having a good time and I don't need to be in peak physical condition to enjoy myself. I don't have to uh, conquer ridiculous peaks or do anything really extreme. It just feels good to be out here and not working a 9 to 5 for a little bit.
This forest is boreal.